Hi, Carter. Thank you for your time. So here in Latin America, uh, we're just heading to the third season of FBI International. We're very excited for this, but what we can expect for this new season? Uh, there's a lot to expect, more action. Um, and I think what you'll find amongst the team, uh, the fly team, um, they have to find ways to really band together and uh, really help each other out and you know in some really tricky situations so um there's going to be a lot more action um I, I think each season we've sort of upped the ante a little bit and uh i think season three doesn't disappoint when it comes to action-packed storylines and some really intense cases that the team has to solve it was fun or a challenge to make this new season both <laughs> it was fun and challenging i mean the the really cool thing about season three that i think sets it apart from the other seasons were the, it's the fact that we actually traveled to more locations so the the premise of the show is we solve a case in different countries each episode but the cool thing about season three was we actually were on location in a lot of different countries and we traveled more than the other seasons so that made it a lot more challenging in terms of scheduling in terms of sleep and fatigue and just workload um and you add that with the fact that the stunts became more extreme and, and a, a bit more extravagant you know after a while I started to take a toll on my body a little bit but uh but it was a lot of fun and, and also challenging let's talk about your character you play a special agent under reigns uh, since the first season and through all these years how do you feel about andre how the character has been growing up since the beginning yeah i think reigns has, has gone on a, a pretty cool journey from the first season um in season one he was more or less um behind the desk a lot you know he was essentially the analyst sort of archetype on the show and you know he has a lot of skills when it comes to hacking and when it comes to computer skills but i think what we've seen um is his confidence grow over the seasons um he's been given the opportunity to really rise to the occasion And I think what's really cool about his journey is the fact that, you know, he initially wanted to become, you know, rise up the ranks in the FBI and become the, you know, the head of the FBI. But, you know, he kind of gave that up, you know, that the idea of that up to really um, latch on to being in the field. So I think that's really the main thing about his journey. He goes from wanting to stay in the office to, to sort of rising up and saying, you know what, I want to be in the field. I want to be where the danger is. I want to be where the action is. And I think we really see that transition for him from season one to now season three. Do you have to learn uh, computer stuff or uh, hacker <laughs> stuff? I, I did actually early on. And, you know, the funny thing is, you know, I joke with the other, um, with my cast members, the other actors, you know, Reigns is, is sort of the gadget guy. You know, I, I look at him, as sort of the, the Swiss army knife on the team. He kind of does all of these things. He's good at so many things. So, you know, as an actor, it's, it's fun to play, but the challenge with that is that sometimes it's like, I'm the one that has all the extra props and I got the gadgets, I'm, you know, picking the locks or I'm hacking into the computer system. So, so yes, the answer is yes. I did have to learn some some computer stuff and some programming stuff, but uh, but I think it's just fun because he does so many things and he really is that sort of Swiss army knife compared to the other characters. One of the special things about FBI and all the Dick Wolf stuff, it's just like old school television, you know? It's modern, but at the same time, it has this old fashioned style because now everything is a streaming or limited series or mini series and all that, but it's, people still love this kind of television shows. What do you think is the secret sauce of FBI International? The secret sauce of FBI International. Um, that's a great question. I, I think just the fact that, you know, you can sort of pick up at anywhere in the season and be entertained and kind of hop on to what's going on with these characters. I, I think to your point about this sort of being like old school kind of style, you know, it's the fact that every episode is a new story. So if, with this procedural model of television, you can pick up you can drop in at any point in the season and still be entertained and still sort of figure out what's going on. And then you can go back and catch up, you know? So I think sometimes people watch out of order and they, they're still able to sort of figure out what's going on. So I think that's kind of the, the bread and butter of this style of television. 
And about that, how do you feel to be part of this massive Dick Wolf universe? Would you like to have a crossover maybe with some of their other franchise like One Chicago or Law and Order? I don't, I mean, that would be cool. I don't, I don't know. There might be some, some technical legality things in terms of networks and stuff like that, but we have done crossovers with our brother and sister show FBI and FBI most wanted. So those are always fun. And it's good to kind of share scenes with other actors from other shows and, and especially within this big universe that we've built. Um, but you know, it's, it's been a lot of fun, you know, being a part of this universe has been a dream come true. It's been a huge blessing for me. It's been a, you know, it's, it's been the job of my dream. So I'm really grateful to be here. I'm really grateful to be portraying Andre Reigns. And, you know, and also we're traveling the world and sharing our stories with the world. So uh, it's been really exciting and really fun. Okay, Cutter, this is my last question. What do you think is the greatest thing about making this show? Oh, man, that's tough. The greatest thing about making this show. Um. I'm I'm really blessed to be working with some really amazing people. So I think the people that I get to tell these stories with make this worth it. And I think the people that we get to share these stories with make it worth it. So the greatest thing has been my coworkers, my castmates, this family that we've built, and you know, and also being able to share this story with the world. I think that's the best part. Great. Thanks again, Carter, for this interview. It was a great time. And I hope we can talk again. All right. Thank thank you. Take care. Bless you. Thanks.